we're an art form of time. We're photographing slices of time. I'm photographing movement, but movement is the materialization of time. I create a situation um, that you can't see on a stage because it never existed and it's, it's not even possible to see it on a stage because of the nature of, of how I do it. And so I'm offering something that um, would never have existed. There's no real way to know when to click. Because first of all, you have to anticipate. You have to make the decision to shoot something you haven't seen. Some of my commercial clients are um, pharmaceutical companies. They could be um, record companies, watch companies. I also shoot for the big dance companies. I just did a campaign for American Valley Theater and Paul Taylor and Alvin Ailey. Um, and I also shoot for the young emerging artists. I made a dance with a dance company from Australia in which I photographed the dance as it was happening live on the stage and the images were projected instantaneously. And the dance was based on my photographs and started with my photographs and the choreographer made a dance where he could embed my chosen moments into the flow of choreography. And it was a really exciting project. It never could have happened without digital. The Leaf digital bag gave me a very fast shutter release. This is obviously critical to what I do since what I do is try to catch a very specific moment, a two thousandth of a second, and I can't afford any delay with the shutter. And some of the other brands, actually, they turned on after I depressed the shutter, so my image was late and I didn't get the moment I wanted. I couldn't work with a digital back that didn't allow me to, to equal the quality of black and white imagery that I got with, with film. And I'm really happy to say that the black and white images that I produce with my digital back are absolutely the equal of what I used to shoot with film. I'm not a really digital, technical kind of person. I like to get involved sometimes. I want to sit on the machine and do my own cropping and push the crop tool and see, okay, this is how it looks as a vertical, as a square, right that moment I'm shooting. Or I like to flag it. I like to put red because it's what the client wants. I put green because I want it. I put all three because everybody wants it, you know. So it's, it's a really great auto-editing system. And what I like about it is it's just so easy for me to zoom in. And for me, the critical difference often in a series of 10 pictures, which might look to most people to be the same, is perhaps just the expression in the eye or the relationship between the two bodies, if the fingers are almost touching, or if hands are stiff. I mean, for me, the details make or break the picture. It's not just someone's jumping in the air and you go, wow. So I can see that so easily and easily reject and even just keep it on that zoomed in focus and easily compare between pictures. I might have four that I, I like equally. How do I make the decision or whatever? I can honestly say with Leaf, I've had an incredible backup. I mean, not only when something goes catastrophically wrong, but I can call people and say, oops, I just did this. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. What do I do now? And I have never not had a call answered, you know, even within within five, ten minutes. And I'm not just with one person and you hope he's, you know, not on the coast. I have four or five people I can call who are even willing to come down and help me or walk us through over the phone in very critical, tense situations like a big client is standing there and you're trying to distract them from the fact that, you know, there's a little glitch. I think technology should aid um, art, which is what I like about your new slogan.